Hey folks, welcome to part two of our off-grid solar living series. Thought I'd just show you what it looks like today. Lots of nice fall colors. Today, we're gonna go inside the solar shed and I'll show you how everything works in here. This is obviously the brains of the operation in here. So, solar, when it comes out of the panels, First off, comes into these charge controllers. Let's see if I can get up on there. Let's see the uh, the readout. The charge controllers essentially they will uh, take the power from the solar panels and optimize it before it goes into the batteries. They also make sure that you don't overcharge the batteries. So. It will vary the amperage and the voltage coming out of the solar panels to optimize that charge going into the batteries. That's very important. And if the solar panels uh, are getting full sun and the batteries are full, it will actually just dump the charge um, either into the ground or it will often just vary the voltage and amperage to so that it doesn't overcharge those batteries. It, I have two of them because I have two solar arrays. I started out with two rows of solar panels and then I added two more so we had to add another charge controller. Um, so it goes down, the, the power will go down from there and then into the battery bank. I'll, I'll do, uh, I'll cover the battery bank which is inside here on another video. So uh, the next most important thing in this whole operation is the inverter. The inverter takes the power from the batteries, which is DC power. DC power stands for direct current. Direct current flows in a steady state. Just uh, think about just a single line of power. Of It's basically a steady stream, and the inverter changes that into AC power, alternating current, which flows in a wave. Uh, the house needs alternate alternating current. So that's what this inverter does. It changes the DC into AC. Now most of your electronics in your house actually use DC. That's what the little box is when you plug in something. Like uh, see this little box here? This is actually for my camera system. I'll show you that in a second. That little box there changes AC, which comes through here, back into DC. Uh, DC is just a lot cleaner for electronics, but to travel power, to move it across distances, AC power is much better. So that's why AC power comes into everybody's home, and that's what this system does. Okay, that's it for today. We'll go over more. We'll go over the batteries here in just a little bit. Thanks.